What's up guys, this is your boy Montre. Um, so today I, I want to continue my talk about the eclipses that are happening. Oh, well, we've already had one lunar eclipse, we're about to have a full solar eclipse on the 21st. I gave you my advice on that. If you want to see that video, make sure you go and click on that one. It's in my little archive, you know, just go on my channel. Um, so, in America, uh, this eclipse is going from the west coast to the east, and I've heard, I've watched a few videos here on YouTube, and a lot of people are, are like doom and gloom. These are a lot of, and this is why, there's a lot of, you know, religious Christian people always got some doom and gloom to talk about. But everything that I look at is good. And I see that the eclipses are going to actually bring a lot of positivity to our world, especially in America and the United States, because it is crossing through the middle of the United States, like straight up, like it's splitting America down the middle and it's happening in Leo. And I'm going to explain that, you know, why that's very important. If you miss it, um, well, basically I live in Dallas, so it's not going to be, it's not going to look like a full solar eclipse from Dallas so you have to be like in the middle of the country to actually see the eclipse uh, it'll look like a partial eclipse if you're anywhere else in the country like if you're in LA, New York um, Florida crazy ass Florida um, Dallas, Texas anywhere in Texas um, if you're up in Michigan Chicago, all the major cities it's still gonna look like a partial eclipse so don't get depressed because Seven years from now, seven years from now, we have another solar eclipse, which is very rare. Another full solar eclipse going through America, and it creates a cross. Now, a lot of people are looking at this as some kind of, oh, it's an omen or it's a sign. And it could be, you know, uh, the universe works in very mysterious ways. Uh, but I don't see it as like a bad thing. I, I haven't, I did, a, I did an I Ching reading online, a virtual reading. And it came out, everything was good. Um, this year is the start of a new phase. Of, uh, because this, the, the solar eclipse is in Leo, and Leo is is the heart chakra. It's about love. It's about loving yourself and just being magnific magnificent. How did I say that word? Magnificent. Magnificent. Um, and beautiful. And I think that it's just going to intensify that energy that is already is with Leo, and it's going to uh, bring the country into a state of feeling that. I don't know if you guys have felt it for Leo in this past month, uh, since Leo has started. I mean, like, whew, it is easy to have sex. Like, everybody's horny. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Um, that's that Leo energy. Leo is all about love. They are good lovers, though. I don't know if you've dated a Leo before, not to two chop you guys horns if you're a Leo. You know, compliments go to your head. Okay, so seven years from now we have another eclipse, which is going to be on a Monday as well, on uh, April the eighth, two thousand twenty-four, which is an election year. So there's some be some big things happening then. Um, in Aries, so we'll have a eclipse. I and I'm really since because this is going to be a universal eight year for numerology. I really sense that. Um, America, the United States, is going to go through a economic boom. Like, we are going to be at our best place in 2024, um, which is in seven years. Like, it's going to be really good. So, I don't know if Trump has anything to do with that or, or what, or if Trump gets impeached and who the next president. Because who knows what's going to happen with Trump. I predicted with my tarot, I want to do a tarot card reading on this um, actual eclipse. And um, I did a tarot card reading on Trump and predicted he was going to win. And I've done a tarot card reading on the Mandela Effect and I've seen some good things with that. I see a lot of positive things happening. Whether we <laughs> perceive them as positive or not, like Trump, you know, a lot of people perceive him as very negative. But sometimes you have a negative person come to the forefront that ends up bringing people together because we all come together to to not like him or something, I don't know. But anyhow, 
it's amazing because even when uh, the universe has to balance itself out so even when bad things happen when bad people do things or when people try to be negative uh, there's always good in the world so always focus on the good and don't worry about it let it roll off your back like a duck there's always going to be negative people out there there's always going to be people doing bad but there are people out there don't lose faith in humanity okay that's all I got to say about that. So a question I'm going to ask the title. Title. What can we expect to happen from the August 21st eclipse? What can we expect to happen? What will the August 21st eclipse bring about for the United States? What is going to happen to you with us as a result of this eclipse. Let's go ahead and look at this. I'm gonna put some cards out. Looking good so far. Okay. And then I'm gonna tell you guys what I see from reading. Okay, so overall, I get the first card I get is the King of Swords. King of Swords is about wisdom and thinking. Um, it's taking a leadership role, but it's, it's mainly about having wisdom and learning things. And what crosses that, which either reinforces that, or is the Page of Cups. Reinforces the card, strengthens it, or weakens it one of the two I'm gonna say it's a strengthening card because it's a page of cups <laughs> page of cups is about a message so I believe that the solar eclipse is a message about wisdom about something that we are going to learn about strengthening our our thoughts and our mindset um, this is the underlying issue this is the foundation of the reading and it's the five of cups and it's about uh, I think too much that our country has been focused on what we've lost and not what we actually have we're, we're way too focused on our losses in the past we have the ten of swords the ten of swords is the next card and it represents our past and kind of like oh no not again here we go we're about to go through something and it could be like we're all kind of stressed that we're kind of beating a dead horse or we, we're tired of maybe war or we're tired of as a country we're tired of going back into a recession we we don't want that you know and or was well, the past it represents the past so it's just it's it's killing overkill it's overkill basically it's when something is done it's done so it's it's just being overly dramatic about things and i think uh what was <laughs> it trump trump just overkill on everything on the past uh just being extremely dramatic about everything we do. Um, this is the presently what's going on, which is the Five of Pentacles. Oh, you guys see that card? Now, Five of Pentacles represents basically poverty, needing some help. Um, that. I think, well, yeah, truly enough, I, I think our financial state in our country we're very focused on right now. And a lot of people are worrying, where is our money going? What are we doing about the poor? Uh, I think this is what the concern is about most people here, is that a lot of people don't have jobs, and a lot of people are impoverished, and it's the forefront of everybody's thinking right now. It's like, what are we doing for our people who don't have anything? So the future card, 
is the Ace of Swords. And it's like, remember, the question was, what is this eclipse going to bring about? And I see that all of a sudden, boom, we're going to get like this, this strengthening of leadership. I think leadership in America is going to start to get better. Because right now, we've had so many problems with Congress. We have so many problems with our president. Uh, everybody just seems to be fighting. Uh, Ace of Swords really shows that all of a sudden, there's going to be this burst of wisdom. There's going to be a burst of leadership. There's going to be a burst of like somebody taking charge and taking lead. So, how does America, how do we play into this whole thing? Right now, we have the Two of Cups reverse and I am usually two of cups reverse well two of cups represents a relationship of some sort when it's reverse it means a very bad relationship and that what is this bad relationship um, with the two of cups reverse it's kind of like a bad relationship or a divorce of some sort of some type of breaking up of something so um, right now the relationship and be that the eclipse is kind of going in between the country there could be a division before there is a unification I still sense and feel good things though <laughs> but it looks like there's a breaking up so I think the country is going to something about a breakup or a divorce of some sort um, maybe the country an impeachment or just uh, more <laughs> or people being divided on something this card shows the environment that we're living in. It's the hermit uh, reverse, actually. And the hermit usually means being isolated. Um, so the opposite of that is that a lot of people are coming out of isolation. A lot of people are going to stop being quiet, stop thinking so much about, you know, a lot of people are not really action oriented right now. But the Hermit Reverse is coming out of that shell and actually doing something. This card represents her. This is a lot of... The Five of Swords is... If you see it, it's... Up, right side up, it's a guy who's always winning. This guy... He... He doesn't fight as much. He's... This is either hope or a fear. This is a guy who, or uh, how our country is going to go. We have an, uh, well, especially with the North Korea stuff, we have an opportunity to go to war. I feel like this eclipse is going to prevent that. And we're going to go backwards as in, we don't need to do this. We can do it if we want to. We can try to fight. We can win. But there's not. it's not really necessary. And so what I've been kind of foreseeing is that um, uh, I see a battle that could happen, which like Trump is kind of provoking a war, but I think he's going to go backwards on it and say, nah, he's going to do something that's going to make it not happen. And this is the final outcome. It's the... Three of Wands. Three of Wands is kind of a plan. And uh, Mercury is retrograde, so that kind of makes sense. It's it's a plan of action. And instead of going forward with future plans, it's actually going backwards and looking back over plans that were made and seeing if they are actually, if they make sense. So what I see for this country is that we're going to do a lot of backwards planning. We're going to go back and look at some old things and say, hey, does this make sense? It might be the healthcare issue. That probably is one of the, thing, one of the many things. But going back and redoing some things, going back and looking at some old plans and saying, did we do this right? Uh, I see that with the country a lot, especially right now in Dallas. We are really a hot debate is the uh, Confederate statues and stuff. So a lot of things, what we're seeing in this country, that are things that are dividing us and breaking us up right now, um, is that, you know, we're, we're going back and saying, what is dividing the country up? Uh, 
um, how can we make the country better? How can we unify the country? And so instead of making new plans, I see a lot of old things that are going to start popping up with our country. And we are going to try to pull ourselves together by saying, how can we change these plans, these old ways, and go forward? And so I see a lot of old things that are going to change that we're going to go back and rethink things over and change those things to try to unify the country. Because right now, as I see, the country is divided, but we're going to start getting some new ideas, some new fresh ideas of how to change the old way of doing things. So that was just my reading for uh, the eclipse, <laughs> the tarot reading for the eclipse that's coming up. Like I said, I really see some actually some good things happening. So right now, initially, it may seem like we are divided and the country is very divided right now on a lot of different things, on racial issues, on gay issues, on pretty much everything, on so many different issues. And eventually, I really believe that we're people are going to start seeing common ground again. And it's going to take a little minute, but it's going to happen. Okay, so I want everybody to stay encouraged, stay in a positive mind, create the reality that you want, because if you don't do it, then who will? Peace out.